Hello, and welcome to, Today in History, I'm your host, Abdalman El Dara, and I'm excited to take you on a journey through some of the most significant historical events that occurred on this day in history, so let's jump right in. On June 1, 1533, Anne Bullen, the second wife of King Henry VIII, was crowned Queen Consort of England. Her coronation marked a significant moment in English history as it solidified her position as the queen and signaled a shift in religious and political dynamics during the reign of Henry VIII. On this day, June 1, 1792, Kentucky became the 15th state to join the United States. Known as the Bluegrass State, Kentucky has a rich history and diverse culture. Its admission to the Union contributed to the expansion of the Young Nation and the Westward Movement. On June 1, 1926, Norma Jean Mortensen, later known as Marilyn Monroe, was born in Los Angeles, California. Monroe would go on to become one of the most iconic and beloved actresses of all time, captivating audiences with her beauty, talent, and unique screen presence. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence popular culture. On June 1, 1938, the iconic superhero Superman made his debut in Action Comics issue 1. Created by writer Jerry Siegel and artist Joe Schuster, Superman quickly became a cultural phenomenon, captivating readers with his incredible powers and commitment to justice. The character's enduring popularity has made him a symbol of heroism and a cornerstone of the comic book industry. On this day, June 1, 1946, the United Kingdom introduced the first TV licenses. This system required households to pay a fee in order to receive television broadcasts. The introduction of TV licenses played a significant role in funding the British Broadcasting Corporation BBC, and supporting the development of the television industry in the UK. On June 1, 1974, a Heimlich maneuver, a life-saving technique for choking victims, was first published by Dr. Henry Heimlich. This simple yet effective method has since saved countless lives around the world and has become a fundamental part of first aid training. On this day, June 1, 1880, the first public telephone booth was installed in New Haven, Connecticut, by the Connecticut Telephone Company. This innovative invention revolutionized communication by providing a private space for individuals to make phone calls in public areas. The telephone booth quickly became an iconic symbol of communication and remained in widespread use until the advent of mobile phones. On this day, June 1, 1980, the first 24-hour news station, cable news network, CNN, was launched. Founded by media mogul Ted Turner, CNN revolutionized the way news was delivered by providing around-the-clock coverage of global events. The network's innovative approach to news broadcasting set the stage for the 24-hour news cycle and had a profound impact on the media landscape. On this day, June 1, 1980, the first 24-hour news station, cable news network, CNN, was launched. Founded by media mogul Ted Turner, CNN revolutionized the way news was delivered by providing around-the-clock coverage of global events. The network's innovative approach to news broadcasting set the stage for the 24-hour news cycle and had a profound impact on the media landscape. That's it for today's episode of Today in History. I hope you enjoyed learning about these significant events that took place on this day throughout history. Join me again tomorrow for another exciting episode. Thanks for watching.